WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, 30 minutes into the trading day, and it's Fed Day. We get a decision at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, a cut basically priced into this market. We'll pull up the probability in a moment. About 97% chance the market giving that we get a 25 basis point cut at 2 p.m. Press conference with Chairman Powell at 2.30 p.m. We'll see what the outlook is. That's going to determine a lot. Right now, we got markets trading a little bit lower off the opening bell. Right now, S&P is negative by four points, trading at 3,031. Dow Jones negative by about nine points, trading 27,063. NASDAQ negative by 12 points, trading at 82.64. Gold contract catching a little bit of a bid, up $4 at 14.95. Notes and bonds ahead of that Fed decision, a little bit of higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up four ticks. 129.12, the 30 year up 15 ticks at 159.05, and the dollar index barely positive up 19 ticks at 97.709. We'll start things off. We're going to start it off with the probabilities, as I mentioned. The rate right now, 1.7 to 2. The odds of a cut at the meeting today, 2 p.m., 97.1%. All but assured. We'll see if that happens. Keeping with the theme of rates. 10-year yield, there's your yield, 1.812. Little bit of a pullback right now on this morning action. We were as high as 1.85, currently sitting 1.812. Jumping over to the indices, we'll start things off with the Dow. And there's your negative action on the opening bell, currently trading 27,007. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a sell-off as well. It's about 30 NASDAQ 100 points, currently trading at 8,046. There's your S&Ps, trading down about seven or eight points from the opening bell, currently at 3,031. Crude oil, we get inventory numbers at 10.30, a half hour from right now. We'll be on the air live for that, $55.22. There's your gold contract, $14.94. Other news out there as we wrap up the, up the update, private payrolls coming in at 125,000 for October, beating the estimate of 100,000 but a revision in September down by 42,000. What else we got? How about GE earnings as we finish this up? GE coming out with their numbers. GE, so far this morning, GE trading up almost 10%. We'll be right back, folks.